There, it's the first day of the spring 2012 and uh, I had a, quite of a problem with the aquaponic system uh, two weeks ago. My old aquarium, which I uh, used uh, for the fish container of course, uh, broke down. The, the plant container was standing on it and, uh, and that wasn't very good. So uh, basically what I did yesterday or, or before yesterday is uh, just place the fish into this uh, well old concrete container and um, repair the aquarium. So I uh, applied new silicone and uh, nice aluminium borders around it. So it's quite uh, good now. <clears throat> the fish are very happy to be back into their aquarium. Uh, the autosiphon is just running now and they really like it. Uh, they're always very amused when the water starts um, getting in and the oxygen as well. Uh, nevertheless I, I am I have extra oxygen to it. You can see some, um, I, don't, I don't know how it's called in English, some grass in it because that's their natural habitat and I uh, <laughs> like to, um, to treat them well. So basically what I did now is uh, also I um, uh, made a new support for the, for the plant container. It's still rusty. I, I kind of like it that way. It's, um, it's quite natural that way. Maybe I'll paint it. I'll uh, have to paint it due to the do the high uh, amount of water in the air here. So uh, that's basically it. So I filled, I just filled the, the aquarium five minutes ago, uh, top level because my my top container was empty. Um, well, sucked the the siphon, so it's it's always uh, in balance with the with the in between tank, which I use especially for the for the big. Uh, amount of uh, of dirt just to lay down and also for the bacteria. Okay, from there on there's a pump inside. The water goes through the tube into my little uh, container which I used for the small fish but especially for the lobsters. There is no lobster in now because I want to um, put in some newer European lobster which uh, I really like to have and is almost uh, not existing anymore in our country. So uh, I removed the uh, the American lobster due to the fact that they are uh, can carry some illnesses with them. Uh, that's why the European lobster is almost uh, extinguished. So um, my my plant container contains some uh, rests of uh, spinach. Uh, I didn't have enough spinach, or it, it didn't grow like I thought it would. And one of the big reasons I think is due to the fact that the temperatures in Belgium here. Uh, uh, are totally different than, for example, in Australia, where you have a lot of um, aquaponic systems, of course. The auto system is uh, stopping, by the way. So um, the temperature here dropped uh, some weeks ago to minus 20 degrees outside. In the greenhouse, it, uh, it was minus 5, minus 6 for two or three nights. Uh, the rest of the nights it was okay due to the, the, the good influence of the warmer water, because I, I'm uh, having a heater inside there. Uh, due to the, the fact that I didn't want to have it freezing. So I have um, installed, as you could see on my blog as well, um, a, uh, an, an old Siemens PLC inside, which is uh, now controlling the heat of the water. Because I'm going to put some new Omega perch in it, which is a totally new created fish, um, and I'm going to be one of the first private persons in, uh, in the world to have this fish as a test base. Friday I'm going to put them in. So basically I have to um, put some new salad in now, put some new uh, nice plants so they can start growing, the fish can uh, start uh, eating again, the temperatures are getting higher and for the Omega perch I have to keep my water a minus, uh, uh, minimum 15 degrees. So this is what we're gonna do. This is our update for the spring of 2012. Bye bye.